Welcome to 31 Days of Your Scrapbooking Q&As. Today's sponsor is CaptureYour365.com, the spot for daily photo inspiration, prompts, community, and education. Check them out at CaptureYour365.com. Today's question comes from Robin. I love this series. Here's my burning question. What do I do when I look at 15 years of photos, all filed chronologically of the life of my family? I've learned the futility of trying to scrapbook chronologically. How do I attack those photos from a different approach? I can't think of anything other than themes like Christmas or birthdays. That leaves me scrapping the events rather than our lives. Help! Robin, I think we all or most of us reach that point where we're tired of scrapbooking chronologically and we realize we're missing something in our pages when we just stick to the events. So first of all, congratulations to you for having that 15 years worth of photos in chronological order because I think that's going to make life a lot easier. So I have a couple suggestions for getting at the moments or the memories that you and the stories that you want to capture about your family. One is story driven and the second is photo driven. There are a lot of other ways, but I'm going to give you two ways to start right now so I don't overwhelm you. One is to just sit down with a piece of paper, blank paper or computer file if you prefer that. And if you had to let an outsider know the five most important elements of your family or the five funniest memories of your family or the five things that make your family different, what would those be? For our family, for instance, number one would be we are way into sports. <laughs> that would be something I would have to share about our family. Number two would be the number of times we've moved cross country in different houses. Number three would be a little bit just about us and our faith and um, our spirituality. And then I could think of a couple other overwhelming um, themes of our family that I would want to share. Then once you've got that list of five things, go through your photos and pick three or maybe four photos that illustrate those themes in your family. They could be from 15 years ago. They could be from yesterday. It doesn't really matter, but pick photos or maybe even just one great photo that illustrates that aspect of your family and create pages from there. Once you've created those first five pages, go on to the next five things people should know about you and just work your way through the important parts of your family. You may come a time when, when you sit down and you think, you know what, I think I've hit all the big parts of our family, our big family themes, and that's okay. Then you can go on to great vacations, um, quirky things about us, our top 10 lists, things like that. But starting with those big themes of your family, I think would be a great place to start for scrapbooking, not chronologically, but story driven. The other way is um, to start with your photos. Grab, just start, you know, your boxes of photos, start leafing through. And when you see a photo that just grabs your heart and you say, oh my gosh, I have to, I have to take a closer look at that. Pull that photo out and think about why it grabbed you so much. Was it a picture of your son with his baby blanket and you suddenly re remember so clearly how he carried that baby blanket everywhere and even till this day he sleeps with it in his pillowcase? That is a story worth, worth capturing. So just do that. Leaf through your photos a little bit at a time. When you find one that grabs your heart, stop there. Think about why it grabbed you and scrapbook that. So again, you don't have to totally give up chronological scrapbooking. If you enjoy capturing those memories in the moments, bring some of these elements into your scrapbooking, but talk about what's important of, about you as a person, about your family, about the people in your family, and then also take a look at the photos that grab your heart. Hopefully this has been helpful. It's one of my favorite ways to scrapbook. And I think I'm going to do some of those family themes and I'll share them with you on the blog at layoutaday.com. We have just a couple days left in the month, but we're still answering questions like crazy. And I would love to answer yours. So go ahead and submit it, lane at layoutaday.com. And I'll see what I can do to help you.